Oh, we have our bathtub. The little creepy claw feet are hidden. Sadly, Pharaoh does not have any sinks for some reason. Hey Babs, it's Zombie. It's that time for another Pharaoh video. So sit tight as we dive into my latest gaming obsession. Let's focus on some sanctuary decorating and what better place to start than the bathroom. You definitely need a bathroom in your house, so it's a good call. I like my walls and floors to complement each other or at least match. And here in this bathroom, since it's a bathroom, I'm going to be using the towel floor and walls that match each other. Now, the thing I dislike about having multiple rooms in Feral, in the sanctuaries, is that to disable one, it'll disable all of, all of the ones that follow after it because they're all connected. And it's just kind of silly. See, if I would... It disables those two, and I don't like that. Yes, I want to leave. All right. Now, to fix that, I cover up the doorways sometimes because I don't want a room to have two entryways, especially a bathroom. Well, it depends on what the room is, but you don't want two doorways into your bathroom. Like, that's just kind of... It's a little bit strange to me. And the thing I like to do is I like to cover them up with the bookshelves. You can make them... Um, they... Okay, here we go. They they help things blend in pretty seamlessly when you use them correctly. So I just cover the door up and we're good to go. Now, that might look a little bit weird just having a random blob <laughs> in your bathroom. So what I like to do is I like to... I like to blend it in more. So... We're going to take these two on the sides. And we're going to make some sort of like dresser type of thing. Put one here. And we'll put here. And where is that raven thing at? Here we go. The raven armor. Or however you would want to pronounce it. I have trouble pronouncing that word. And we're going to line it up just like that. And it kind of looks like a neat little closet dresser thing. Now, one of the most important things about decorating is you want to fill in all of the space in the room where it's going to look a little bit empty or barren. And you don't want that. Having your room look full but without being busy is pretty important. Or I think it's pretty important. So it's always fun to add little things in the corners that complement the room or even just to fill in space, but they work when you uh, when you put them in. We're going to put a little vanity over here in this corner. And I sadly Pharaoh does not have any sinks for some reason, so we're going to we're going to compensate for that with uh, with this. We're going to put it here. And, I mean, maybe while somebody is doing their makeup, they don't want to look at the rest of the bathroom if someone's doing their business. So I'm going to take some screens. And we're going to... Oh, I don't want that. What in the world? Oh, I messed up my other room. But that's okay. Alright. We're going to take some screens and we're going to... Go like that. Mm, let's make it go like that. All right. Now I want a rug in there. Which rug? I already had a lot of my furniture pre-dyed before I started this video, but dyeing your furniture is one of the one of my favorite things in this game. Like it just makes it so much more customizable for certain things. There we go. And maybe we should have a light over in that corner. I'm gonna put this one because it kind of matches. And there we go. We have the one corner done. Maybe I'll put another little lamp over. 
Oh, that's not how you spell lantern. Is it lantern or lamp? I went the cottage ones. Here we go. Lantern. I put one there. All right. Now, what is a bathroom without a bathtub? You're gonna need. You're gonna need a bathtub, or where are you gonna be cleaning yourself off at? I do not like the little, little claw things in the claw foot bathtub, which is a nice pun, Wildworks. I see what you did there. So I'm gonna cover it up and do like my own sort of, my own kind of thing in covering it up. Why do these keep moving like that when I, it's kind of strange. close. This is one of my favorite things to do when I'm decorating is to combine furniture to make new things. And it's kind of fun. Like you can make entirely new objects or illusions by just combining a bunch of different furniture. Like here I'm combining all the ottomans to cut not only cover up the little claw foot things but this is going to be it's kind of like one of those little perches. Have you ever seen like really fancy bathtubs or like sauna, not saunas, but like hot tubs and they have the, uh, you have like a little platform that, uh, that they are on. That's what this is kind of going to be like. You're going to, it's very hard to line stuff up sometimes in this game. I will. I will say that it is very difficult sometimes. Oh, here we go. See, that's not too bad. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I can't click it. All right, hang on. Hang on, there, buddy. We're gonna. All right, there we go. Eh, not too bad. Here, I'm just gonna. Why is it moving them around like that? That's very... <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit strange. I'm gonna fix this up a little bit more. Oh. Uh. I'm a little bit of a, of a perfectionist. I'm like this when I make houses on my sims too. So. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit... I, I am definitely a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to certain things. And we're gonna make that sit right there in the middle. All right. Here, drag some of these over here. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> At least I came prepared. All right, we're gonna put you here. At first, I had an idea to try to make it sit on top of a bookshelf upside down. But then I found out that I can't go inside of the bathtub very deep because it, you know, there's a bookshelf in the way. So this is the method I decided to use instead. And I don't think it's turning out too bad. What do you guys think? Is it, is this good? Is this bad? Here, I'm going to move this out of the way for a moment all right almost there oh i have one extra all right well we're just gonna get rid of him real quick i'm gonna put my bathtub back in there and there we go we have our bathtub the little creepy claw feet are hidden which is awesome now what else is a bathroom without a toilet uh what is it called it's not that um i'm gonna have to search for it i'm gonna have to search for it because i don't know the name all right it's definitely a bathroom item yeah, well of course it's a bathroom item why else would there be there we go why didn't it work when i searched for toilet though all right well whatever it's uh here we're gonna plop this right in the corner here now like I was saying, it's really important to fill in your spaces. 
And as you can see, this corner over here is looking kind of empty. Oh, I just realized it's off center. It's off, uh, it's off center by a lot. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, <laughs> well, we'll fix it later. It's, it's all right. All right. Now, like I said, one of the most important things is to fill in your corners. Sure, we have a bathtub, a toilet, and we have our little vanity area, but look at all this extra space. That's one of the big problem problems I find with feral decorating for sanctuaries is that they are kind of hard to fill in some of the rooms because since the game is newer, there's so few furniture available to all of us. Let's see, we're going to combine these over here in this corner and we're going to try to make it look like a counter or some sort of maybe some type of another type of vanity. We don't have mirrors in the game, but windows kind of look like mirrors, so that's a good idea to use for a vanity that I've been wanting to use for like a mirror on the wall. Um, but we're gonna use we're gonna use another uh, vanity item, sort of. So we have it's not there. Where is it? Oh, it's the runic vanity. My bad. Okay. So we're gonna take this, which is an actual vanity. And like I was telling you before about combining furniture to make new things, see it looks like a little vanity. And we can even be real, real fancy about it and we're gonna put a little, we're gonna put a little lamp on top of there. Now there's empty space, so let's make a potted plant area. Um, these things are actually really cool for decorating. They're supposed to be decrepit, so they're like broken and they have like a cobweb, but if you hide the cobweb, they actually work really well for decorating for other furniture places. So I'm going to hide the cobweb in the corner here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Where is that other plant? Is it plant or was it flower? Now, see, I'm going to take this, and I don't like... I don't like the bottom bit for this vase here. So I like to combine things to make them, like I said, I like to combine things to make new things. So what I do is I hide this bottom part of the vase in side of here. And we have a totally new, a totally new planner. Here, I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna plop that there. You wouldn't know that was two separate plants. It just looks like one. That's my fa one of my favorite things to do in this game. Honestly. Alright. Now, uh, this... Ooh. Okay, that tub being off-center is really good. <laughs> this is really going to bug me. I'm such a perfectionist. Alright, let's fix this real... Real quick. We're just gonna, we're just gonna fix this. It'll be no, no problem. One, two, here we go. All right, that's more, yeah, okay, that's more in the center. I'm um, sorry, guys. I'm just kind of a perfectionist sometimes when it comes to certain things. here. It's so hard to rotate uh, objects sometimes. You hear that? You hear that, Wildworks? Fix your rotation things because sometimes it's really hard. And there we have our tub there again. Okay. Now, it's kind of barren in this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more screens and we're going to create a new little area separated because we don't want, you don't want to be like right next to the, uh, somebody while they're on the toilet. So we're going to create like a little tiny separate thing over here to fill in some more space. Maybe I'll put it here. We will put it here. We're going to leave it there for now so I can fill in other things behind it. And we're going to make a nice little kind of like seating sanctuary sort of 
calm, relaxing place. So we have a little fountain. All right, then we have the fountain, and we can put these here. And we'll put another plant here. We'll put another plant here. Hmm. We'll do blue ones this time? Or do you think I could get away with... No, alright. We're gonna put blue here. Alright, and we're gonna put this plant over here. And we're gonna use Audemons for sitting. I love these. These are like the best little tiny chair things ever. I really, I really like these. They're so cute. Now, would you have this in a bathroom in real life? Uh, maybe not. Probably not. I, well, you might if you have like a really big fancy bathroom. I do not though. But, I mean, what does it matter? It's. It's fun, you know, to have different things. Let's see. Where is... Oh, here it is. Okay, this is what I used before. I was very confused. All right, so we have this little plant that kind of match. Do I have any more vases or flowers that I could put in? Where is that new... Here we go. Okay. We're going to put this, maybe. Oh, no, we'll keep that over there. We'll put that here. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Okay. Mm, should we put this candles in here? Maybe not just yet. Alright, so we have our little tiny seating area. We have a toilet. We have a vanity type of area over here. We have our another little vanity area and like a little sink kind of thing. Whatever you'd want to call it. Let's see what other type of goodies we can shove in here. Oh, we're going to need a rug in the middle. I think a rug would really make this place come together. Let's put a rug here. I thought I had a big vase of flowers somewhere. Like, it was like a really big, big vase. It came with the Ferris set. Now, let me see if I can find them. Oh, this is something good we can add in here. I didn't even think of that. And maybe we could throw in these two for decoration somewhere. What if we put them, combine them to make this look more fancy? There we go. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay. Where should we? Oh, no. Yeah, there, there we go. Yes, I love them there. Alright, we're gonna make this slightly off centered. And if I could find something else to shove in that corner, that would be great. Um Here we go. That's what I was talking about. Farah lilies. I wonder why they didn't pop up when I said search for Farah. Okay. Um, I kinda wanted them at an angle, but the way it works I can't them into the wall when they're in an angle so maybe I'll just instead put them here they don't look that bad all right let's go check out our bathroom while we are here so not too bad I don't think I'm gonna turn all these nice little lights on now as you can see compared to how it was before this is definitely a huge improvement <laughs> and we could still we can still get in the tub. It's great. I don't think it looks too bad. You know what? Wait, I know what it's missing. Perfect. Perfect right above the bathtub. Yes. 
we can have we're gonna put this right right there I wonder if we have anything else I can put in here um not really I don't think but if you guys have any ideas for suggestions of what I could add in here, just pl you guys can let me know. You know what, maybe I'll put in another little lamp over here so it's even on both sides. So you have one there and one on the other side. I wish I had some windows to put in. Maybe... I have raven windows. They kind of match. Maybe I'll put one here. Or does that look weird? Does that look weird having that there? Should I have... Hmm, let's put the other one on this side. So we have two windows now. And we'll put... Maybe it looks a little weird having that there now. And we have extra space. So we'll put a third window over here. I love these windows. They're so pretty. You might want to dye them, though. Um... Okay, yeah, it looks a little strange having that there now. Here, we will put you here. And let's see what else we have. Exquisite. Ooh, fancy. All right. Now we're going to do some dyeing of these items. But this is basically our room. Let's see. Exquisite. Oh, first, I'm going to dye this. Um... Let's make the outside great to match. We're going to have our raven windows. Uh, see, I think the outside color is fine. Maybe? Or should we make it... Hmm. Oh, yeah, that looks real nice. Let's make these... Do I have any teal or cyan? Yes! Okay, I like that a lot. We're gonna do that for all of these. Uh, where is teal? And then we're gonna do gray. You guys totally signed up to watch Zombie Dies Her Things, right? <laughs> Alright, and let's look at painting. Which painting was it? Oh no. Um, which one's the newest one? Alright, we'll do this one because I'm going to assume it's the newest. Hmm. Slate looks really nice. Yeah, let's do slate and we can do... Ooh. Or do we want... Oh, I kind of like that. Alright. We're going to do that and then we can do... Yes, that's so pretty. Okay. And here you have it, our bathroom. What do you guys think? Is it good? Is it bad? Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. And that is it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening. Wherever you are, I hope it's simply amazing. Stay safe, guys. Bye.